Welcome to the channel. I just took finals in optometry school and let's go through the journey together. All right, it's the morning of the first day of finals here at ASCOPT. We got an optics final today at 12. Tomorrow at 7 a.m. we have our Bayesian final. Wednesday at like 12 again, we have anatomy and physiology. Thursday we have theory and methods. So we got about a test a day over this finals week and st been studying over the weekend and about to head to campus to study for a few hours before optics. Wish me luck. So I got out of optics about a few hours ago, but honestly, I didn't even have time to catch my breath. I just went right back into studying for tomorrow morning's exam for basic sciences. Now I'm gonna go home, get some food, walk my dog, and then study some more. I just finished my last final, and honestly, I've been not taking care of myself. I'm gonna go home and shower, and then go to a potluck tonight with the whole class. We're gonna get together and play games, and everyone brings some food, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. All right, all shaved and showered, chilling here with Kiwi and listening to Taylor Swift's Taylor's version of red. So there it is, it's all over. My first quarter of optometry school is done and I can finally sit back, look at my transcript and say, okay, I'm done with the worst of it all. But then again, I talked to a second year today and he said, oh, actually the, the winter quarter is a little bit harder for me than the fall quarter was. So I said, okay, dang, all right. Well, maybe I'm not done with the hardest, but I am done with the first. My first quarter of optometry school is behind me and let's take a moment to reflect. So optometry school has been anything but easy. It's really fast paced, it's going hard. There's so many things that are so easy to leave behind that you have to stay on top of. You have to be on top of your coursework and also your labs and your methods that you're practicing. And so there's just so much that it just comes and it goes and time went by so fast. I can't believe that we've already gone through a whole quarter of the first year of optometry school. And here we are, I, I did okay. But that being said, there are some people in the class that are on the edge and it is hard. So optometry school is definitely not a cakewalk and it's hard for everybody. That's why it's so important to be there with your friends. If you're in optometry school, reach out to people who need you. There are, there are definitely people who are having a really hard time to pass their classes right now and you could help them. Go ahead, reach out to those that you know that are struggling and you might just save them a year of their lives from having to redo their first quarter of optometry school. Now I heard from someone that they try to make the hardest test on Monday and then kind of so that your easiest test is at the end, but that's, that's not how it was. My hardest exam was anatomy and physiology and that was Thursday and gosh, that test, Really, it came from a left field that I, when I was studying for it, it was, I was studying the general terms, get everything down, but there were some nitpicky things in there that I would like to talk to my professors about a little bit, but I survived at the end of it all. Now, last night we had the potluck. It was um, fun. Everyone got together, celebrated being finally over with the first year, <laughs> first year, just the first quarter. It, sometimes it feels like a year, sometimes it feels like two or three weeks but it really just, it flies by and also takes forever. It is the weirdest thing. It's the weirdest thing. So what advice can I give you about your first quarter of optometry school? Or what are my big takeaways that I have? There's only one way to climb a mountain and that is to go up. And if you wanna become a doctor, the, the first time you are going uphill, it's, it's honestly, it's such, it's such a rough ride. There are bumps along the way and, and you really have to you know, put your head down and march through it. Now, not every school is on a quarter system. Some people are in semesters, so they don't have that sense of relief yet of being done with their first semester. But it's nice right now, we get a break until the end of Thanksgiving. And so that's amazing, uh, a nice two week break to not worry about school and to kind of put some more time back into yourself and get ready for next quarter. So I can finally concentrate at being a stay at home dad for Kiwi and she needs a little bit more love and affection. I've been disappearing a lot lately to work on my schoolwork. So it'll be fun to spend more time with her. Maybe she'll make some more TikToks. 
down below in the description if you want to follow some Kiwi TikToks. And it's just been crazy and I'm glad it's all over. I honestly never knew I'd learned that much in optometry school. It, it has been crazy. I can't even tell you what I know, but I know that I'm that much closer to being a doctor and it's crazy. Um, and here's to the next quarter. Honestly, finals were so hard, but it's okay. Almost everything is cumulative, so there was so much studying to be done, and I'm glad we had full days in between exams to get some studying in, but honestly, all the time in the world would not feel like enough time to study for some of those exams. So it was, it was so hard. Uh, about Thursday, I was just feeling so burnt out, I could hardly study at all for that last final, but I pushed through, and even your last final, you might think, okay, methods isn't gonna be that hard. It's just being an optometrist kind of stuff. But no, they make every exam hard and you'll push through it. And it'll just, just think of where you are at the end, right? You'll, you'll be in my place sometime. You'll be at the end of it all. And finals week will come and go and you'll be that much closer to being an optometrist. You've got this, push through. And now it's time to go celebrate. I'll probably go use my Chick-fil-A card that I got at the raffle at the potluck. So. All right, thank you for watching all the way to the end of this video. If you wanna follow my journey through optometry school and learn more about how it is being in optometry school and tips and tricks that you can use to be the best optometrist that you can be, go ahead and subscribe and smash the like button so that this video can reach other people who need it just like you. See you in the next one.